Another night deprived of slumber, hours passing without number, my eyes trace round the room I lay. Dripping sweat and now quite certain that tonight the final curtain drops upon my short life's precious clay. From the darkness by the closet comes a noise much like a faucet makes a maddening drip, drip, dripping sound. It seems some ill proportioned beast, anticipating the flea deceased, is drooling poison puddles on the ground. Yeah, he can't amaze a 45! That's all I need to stay alive! But no weapon lies within my sight. Oh my gosh, these shadows creeping, ominous and black, yet seeping slowly across a moonlit square of light. Suddenly, a floorboard creak announces the blood sucking freak is here to steal my future years away. A sulfur smell now fills the room, heralding my imminent doom. A fang gleams in the dark and murky gray. Oh, blood red eyes and tentacles, throbbing, pulsing ventricles. Mucus oozing pores and faithful claws. Worse, in terms of outrage scariness, are suckers multifarious that grab and force you in its mighty jaws. <laughs> I know this because I ran not two hours ago, and then I got the heebie-jeebies in these auto shakes. My parents swore upon their honor that I was safe in our honor. I guess tomorrow they'll see their sad mistakes. In the morning, they'll come in and say, What was that awful din we heard last night? You kept us both from sleep. <laughs> Dad will look at Mom and say, Too bad he had to go that way. And Mom will look at Dad and nod assent. Mom will add, Still it's fitting that as he was this world quitting, he should leave another mess before he went. They may not mind at first, I know. They will miss me later, though, and perhaps admit that they were wrong. As memories of me grow dim, they'll say, We were too strict with him. We should have listened to him all along. As speedily my end approaches, I bid a final buenas noches to my best friend in the world. He lies snuggled in the blankets, curled. Hey, wake up, you stupid cretin! You're gonna sleep while I get eaten? Suddenly, the monster knows I'm not alone. There's an animal in bed with me! An awful beast he did not see! The monster never would have come if he had known. The monster, in its consternation, demonstrates demonstration and runs and runs and runs away! Rid of the pest, I now can rest, thanks to my best friend who saved the day.